Alrighty, let's uh, let's let's get this uh, show on the road, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be my first ever video uh, showing you guys what I've pretty much been taught in first year game dev. So uh, pr pretty much what that means is, uh, in, in my program at least, uh, it was more art based, and uh, we didn't focus on any programming. So things that I'm gonna be uh, showing you. Uh, what I did uh, won't have any programming. It's going to be, you know, animation. It's going to be building stuff. And there's going to be swearing, you know, because that's kind of the person that I am. Um, you know, sometimes the, the F bomb is the easiest thing to, you know, throw out there than, you know, find an actual word in the vocabulary. Uh, but, but yeah, this is, this is just going to be chill. It's going to be fun. Um, and if you guys want to learn anything that, you know, I haven't taught you, because obviously this is the first episode, uh, then just, you know, leave a comment. Say, hey, I want to learn how to do this. Then uh, then we, we can do that for you. But uh, anyway, the first thing that I'm going to say is I'm going to be using Maya. Uh, never use Blender. Don't use Blender. A lot of people like to use Blender. That's, that's like the old way, okay? At least that's what I was. I've, I've been taught. Do not touch Blender, even though it's it's free and it's on Steam. It's easy to get. Don't get it. Get Maya. Uh, and all you have to do is type in Maya 2018, um, and it's through Autodesk uh, online, and it's free as well. And if you're a student and or a professor, just say you're a student, and uh, yeah, you'll 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 get it for free. It's an insanely easy process. But yeah, that's what I'm using. Maya 2018. Uh, the newest version, I believe. I'm not sure if they have 2019 out yet. I digress. Let's let's just pop right into this and uh, let's let's see what I can teach you guys. So immediately, you're gonna get thrown onto this, and this grid is great unless you're wanting to throw things into Unreal. That is something else I'm gonna get into way later on. We're not even gonna touch Unreal Engine for a while, but. Just so you know, usually what you do is you have Maya that you have right here. You create stuff, throw shit in here, you know, play, play with it. And then you export it and then you go over to uh, Unreal and see how it works in game, like an actual game environment. So this is like the modeler or animator, if you think about it like that. And then Unreal is throwing in there and seeing if it works type, type, type deal. And a lot of games are made through Unreal, like uh, Rocket League, and I'm pretty sure uh, Gears of War had a little bit of uh, play in there. Anyway, let's uh, let, let, let's let's go through the very very beginner's guide of this and uh, show you the very very beginning. Okay, so hit the Alt key, and then if you use any of the functions on your mouse, you're gonna be able to move. So holding down Alt and left click you're gonna be able to rotate around an object. So what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm just gonna have uh, my modeling stuff in modeling, go into model, and then yeah, boy, the cube is gonna be right here. So when I hold alt, I'm gonna be zooming around this object, this object right here. To zoom in like I'm doing like right now, I'm not holding down alt, I'm just using the scroll wheel to scroll in and out. And then if you hold alt, and then right click, you're gonna slowly zoom in a little bit, just little increments at a time. And that's for if you have like a little edge right here and you just wanna get in a little closer just to get that more precise detail, that's where you're gonna hold Alt, right click, zoom in a little bit. Either way, they both work. So no, no Alt, just middle, middle mouse, and then Alt, right, and then Alt, left mouse, you go around anyways that is the controls anyway and then I'm gonna be using shortcuts but what I'll, I'll obviously tell you immediately what that they're gonna be so the move tool you, you don't really use this ever I don't I don't see the purpose of it uh, what I'm gonna be using a lot is the move tool the rotate and the scale so the short key like the shortcuts on your keyboard for these w is move e is rotate and r is scale so w e r w e r w e r 
Uh, so I'm going to be using those while I'm going through, but it's good to know what they are for, you know, you. Uh, so I'll, I'll, the first time that I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be clicking over here, but the next video, you're not going to see that because I'm just going to be going through them. Anyways, other things that you should know right off the bat, uh, these are all self-explanatory right here in modeling. Uh, the, this is modeling is going to show everything you're going to need to model something. Uh, so they have all your curves, models, sculpting. We're not going to touch that. Rigging, that's going to come way, way later. Animation, rendering, you get the gist. Um, and then all these things are extra little details that we're not going to get into right now. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is show you this guy right here. And this is the outliner. This is something that I am going to highly stress that you keep organized. This is going to show you everything that you have in this file. So if you have, if you just keep getting more and more cubes, they're going to slowly, you know, become something. But if you have one over here and say like, you know, that you want this to become something, then you got to say like, you know, this is going to be the head of an object and you just got to type in there, organize it, keep everything organized in your outliner. Can't stress that out enough. Because if you get bigger and bigger projects, like you're going to, you're going to have cube 1 to like 1,000. And you're not going to know the difference between them. So it's good to keep it organized. Um, you probably are thinking, how the hell did I just make that and name that? Just double click on it. Double click on any of these and then you can uh, type it in. So uh, yeah. And then if you hold down left click and then go over everything. You go, you, you know, obviously you click everything. Uh, instead of doing this, if you want to click the top one and then hold shift and then click the bottom one, you'll select everything in that uh, premises. You know what I mean? Holding down shift allows that. If you're wanting to collect this one and not select everything and just get that cube right there, you just click that one, control, and then click that. And then you get to pick ones at your own rate. The reason why I'm saying that is because in projects, you're going to be grabbing certain things. And when you're in this outliner, you're not like there's four cubes right here, but you want, you know, cube three, not cube two. And you can't grab it, right? You're, you're, you're scratching around, can't find cube three. You can just click right here and now you can move it. That's the reason why the outliner is so awesome. Next up, uh, things that I would recommend you always have, no matter what project you have is having two-sided lighting on. That'll just make everything look universally, you know, not crap. Uh, other things to note right off the bat. Uh, settings, I like to have mine at 24 FPS is good for, you know, things that we're gonna be getting into. Uh, we're not gonna be touching animation yet, so that, that I'm gonna leave alone because, yeah. The next thing that we should probably talk about is just just getting into modeling. You're just, just starting to model stuff because it's hard to memorize what all of these things are until you start to model something and realize you need something, right? So let's just put in a square. And what I think we're going to do is we are just going to model um, a, a cutting board, something like an easy easy cutting board that you could have in your uh, house. So. Moving around uh, that we already discussed is alt and left mouse, uh, and then we're just going to uh, we're 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 gonna we're gonna scale this guy. We're we're gonna grab grab this guy, and we are going to uh, scale it. We're gonna make this guy a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. All right, just bring it down a little bit. There we are. All right, that, that's not bad. A little, a little bit of a cutting board. Beautiful. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna not show you a lot right now just because it's unneeded but what i am going to show you is something over here uh with my mouse uh you click the inputs in the poly cube this is a very very uh good thing to have open as well uh because what i like to change is these subdivisions in here because you know how this is just one face well if i wanted five by five by five 
you see what happens there's more faces and you will understand why that's good later on but I'm just gonna tell you anyway uh, more faces uh, allows you to do greater detail that's that's really the the basis of it because uh, when I left click here I'll, I'll, I'll explain it later but you, you're able to go into way greater detail on items once you have uh, more subdivisions so pretty much just think subdivisions are the faces how many faces do you want you know what I mean so that being said we now have a a section where I'm able to uh, grab a couple faces and now what I'm going to show you is by holding down right click your rice right rice right mouse button uh, you're able to just select faces edges vertexes or the entire object by selecting the entire object, obviously, see the ob entire object. Faces, you're just selecting that one face. And then you can make it bigger, smaller, anything you want. Uh, say you did this and you think that looks absolutely awful because it does. It looks awful. The undo button uh, is right up here. Uh, edit, and then you can do undo. Or the uh, quick way, like I'm going to be doing, is Control Z. And then if you continually hit it, you will continually undo everything that you've done. So if you select this guy, don't like that, control Z. Uh, it's not like Photoshop where you have to hit control alt Z to undo and undo and undo. It's just uh, control Z, uh, really easy. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be clicking this guy, uh, holding down shift and clicking all of these. So. I had one selected on my faces. Select that guy, hold down shift like we did in the outliner, and then click through everything right there. Beautiful. Now what I'm able to do is I'm able to scale this down, I'm able to make it bigger, smaller, whatever I want. What I'm gonna show you guys is, well, what, 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 do, you, what do you think we should do? Should, I, I, th I think we should go into extruding. Extruding is hitting Control E, Control E, and then we're gonna select. There we go, and then we're just gonna come on. When you select the the square, like like I did right here, you're gonna have a square in the middle, and then you're gonna slow it down, and that creates a little bit more, more edges. And we're gonna do that again. Actually, we're gonna. We're going to hit Control E and we're going to extrude it again. And the reason why we're gonna, we do that is because now I'm able to bring this out. And it's not going to look bad. If I didn't do the second uh, extru extrusion, uh, what would happen is, whoopsie, we all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Then I just bring it out like this, but I don't think that looks very nice. I don't I don't like how that looks because it comes in as an angle, and that doesn't look very good. So we're gonna do a little bit of a redo. Oh, I can't redo it. Fine. Control E. Click that guy. Have that little bar up here. Bring that out and come on. Click it. There we go. There we go. Pretty easy. N not not bad. Um, and then what I want to do is hit three and that is the shortcut for making things rounded just a little pointer and uh, yeah that, 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 that I think that's gonna do it that that's kind of the very basis I just showed you very quickly everything you need uh, to know right away to just do your own thing um, because I showed you when you right click you're able to go on edges and vertexes when you go on edge you can select hold shift and click all of the edges that you want and then if you hit W and move you can move these things up and down it's crazy if you want to hold vertex that's just the points you can just bring that side up by itself pretty cool stuff and uh, yeah, I, I think I think that that's everything. We we covered you know beveling and uh, smoothing stuff out. And yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think that I think that's gonna be good for you guys. If you guys want to know anything else, and you know, just just play around. Honestly, it's it's a lot of fun to just get into stuff because 
you, it, you can just play around and have a lot of fun with this. So if you guys want to know anything else, just give me a shout. And uh, don't forget to like the video, and I'll see you guys later.